nuts. Come on, sugar cane. Come to attention for our great master, Russell. Thank you, Gus. The light of God is upon all of us, and we will celebrate the union of two comrades, Matthew Everett and Barbara McIntyre. Our organization will bring yet another addition to our bloodline. And we will prosper. Yes. Let us share a moment of silence. Miss McIntyre, why so sad? Miss McIntyre, I have no time for silly games. You will marry Mr. Matthew. And you will not leave this compound until you have done so. Now, I have spoken. This is the way it should be. Good. Chad has some good news. Oh, yeah? And what would that be? I found the most beautiful woman. Uh, but this woman, she is for taking, right? Oh, yes. She can be my future wife. She will be my future wife, mm -hmm. I think, yeah. Well, good. That can be arranged. Diane Smothers. Yes, I met you at your yoga studio today. Yeah. I'd love to meet with you. Waiting long? So, um, how is she? Do you drag that poor innocent girl out of my studio? Oh, I apologize. That's the extent they tend to go to. Who? We're an organization that adheres to a very specific doctrine. Like a cult? We're an organization. Can you do me a favor and let me know how Barbara's doing? Because I'm really worried about her. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, I really love this place. This is the kind of place where I just, I don't know, I always imagine somebody would propose to me here. Don't you agree? Yes. Would you like to see my home? Sure. Welcome home, Chad. Who is this? The beautiful woman I met yesterday. Mm. Diane. Nice to know. Gus. This is the nice lady that, uh, Chad was talking about earlier. Hello, Diane. It is entirely my pleasure, Diane. <gasps> what are you doing? You're by.
here. Oh, I just... just always imagine that this would, this would be the place that we came to. To confess our love for each other. tell you something. I love you. I want you to be my wife. I'm out of that place. I'm giving it up for you. I'm sorry. I never loved you. On your guys'. So, is it okay if I can talk? I get kind of nervous when I take tests. Don't move. Sorry. I already had an IQ test this year. But I've never had a... Uh... Uh, the reaction time now is, is a main factor in this, so please pay attention. Oh, sure. Answer as quickly oh, as sure. possible, will you? <laughs> now, look, 1187 at Hunter Suite... Uh... That's the hotel. What? Where I live. Uh, nice place. Yeah, sure, I guess. Is this part of the test now, old man? Warming you up. That's oh, oh, okay. You're in a desert. Walking along the sand, and uh, then what happened? Is this the test now? What? Yes. You're in a desert, my friend. Walking along in the sand, when all of a sudden... Which one? You look down and you see... Which a... one? What? Which desert? <laughs> what desert? What? Doesn't that make any difference? What desert? It's completely hypothetical. And how come I would be there? Uh, maybe you're fed up. Maybe you uh, want to be... By yourself. Who knows? Come on, warm up. Huh? Just let me know. I, it's a, it's a, to what, a tortoise? What the hell is that? Um, so you look down and you see a tortoise is crawling towards you. you. You know what a turtle is? Of course. Well, same thing. I've never seen it. A turtle? That, I guess I understand what you mean. You reach down. Come on now. And you flip the tortoise over on his back. Leave it. Huh? Did you make up these questions? Or did, you, did they write them down for you? The tortoise lays on his back, its belly baking in the hot sun, beating its legs, trying to turn itself over, but it can't. Not without your help. What do you but mean? But you're not helping. What do you mean I'm not helping? You're just not helping, that's all. I mean, you're just not helping. Why is that, Leon? Huh? Come on, now warm up to me. Tell me, why are you not helping this poor, Helpless turtle. They're just questions, Leon. Come on now. They're just questions. Shall we continue? D 
Describe. Describe, Leon, in a single word. Only the good things that come into your mind about your mother. Let me tell you about my mother! Action. Okay, if I talk? I get kind of nervous when I take tests. Don't move. S sorry. I already had an IQ test this year, but I don't think I ever had a... Uh, uh, reaction time in the, as a factor in this. So please, pay, pay attention. Uh, answer as quickly as you can. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, 1187 at oh. Hunter Suite... Uh, uh, yeah, that's the hotel. Uh, what? Uh, it's where I live. Nice place. Yeah, sure, I guess. Is that part of the test? Uh, warming you up. Is that mm -hmm. <laughs> You're in a desert, walking along the sand when... Is this a test now? Yes, yes. You're in a desert, walking along the sand when all of a sudden you're looking to see a... Which one? A... What? Which one? What desert? Doesn't make any difference what desert. It's completely hypothetical. <laughs> Why would I be there? Or maybe you're fed up. Maybe you want to be by yourself. Who knows? I see a tortoise. What the hell is a tortoise doing here? Uh, where'd that come in? Oh, my line wasn't highlighted. So you look down, you see a tortoise. It's crawling towards you. A, a tortoise? What the hell is that? You know what a turtle, uh, tortoise is? Yeah, of course. Oh, same thing. But you know what? I've never seen a turtle. But I guess I understand what you mean. You reach down and flip the tortoise over on its back, Leon. You know what, did you make up these questions? Or did they write them down for you, old man? Huh. The tortoise lays on its back, its belly baking in the hot sun, beating its legs, trying to turn itself over. But it can't. Not without your help. What do you mean? But you're not helping. What do you mean I'm not helping? I mean, I mean you're not helping. Why is that, Leon? Why is that? Tell me. Um, hold on. Oh, they're just questions, Leon. Shall we continue? Describe in single words only the good things that come into your mind about your mother. Tell you about my mother! Into your house? You're inviting me into your house? How are you doing, man? I'm, I'm, I'm overpaid. <laughs> I'm overpaid.